Hi everyone, I'm Tyler Bull here again. Today, I'll be showing you how to remove and clean the carburetor on a leaf blower. It's also worked for most of your small engines. First, you need to locate the case covering the carburetor. That would be where your choke, your throttle, and your primer bulb are located. Remove the cover. The cover removed. You now see the air filter. Take that off, put that aside. These are your two carburetor mounting bolts. These also mount this part of the cover. Next step is to remove these two bolts. Carefully remove the carburetor mounting bolts. Make sure you keep any spacers, any washers, anything like that. Keep very good track of everything. You want to put everything back exactly the way it came out. Carefully remove the cover. Unplug the kill switch. Next. You see the carburetor is loose. Carefully remove the throttle linkage. Remove the gas and air lines, remembering which one goes where. And that's all you have to do to remove the carburetor. Don't forget, there should be a gasket between the carb and the manifold. So you put that away in a safe spot. The next step is to remove the primer bulb and inspect it for damage. Primer bulb looks good. Put that aside. After you have the rubber primer bulb removed, Time to soak the carburetor. Take your carburetor pieces, put them in the handy dandy soak basket here. Do not put the primer bulb in there. Don't forget when you're using your carburetor and parts cleaner that always wear eye protection. Safety first. So what you're going to want to do now is let your carburetor soak for about 20 minutes, remove it, you want to rinse it with water as well as you possibly can, let it dry very, very thoroughly, reinstall it just like you took it out, and you should have a good, clean, working carburetor again. It's intolerable. Thanks for stopping by. This is Ty's Garage. See you again soon.